here at Fruit Haven, there's this big open area by the house, pretty close to the house, and we want to clear up some of these weed trees and uh, plant a bunch of grafted Rasapote and grafted Mamesapote and a few other things. So the first step was to cut down all the brown sugar cane, which we already did. The next step is to cut down the tops of these weed trees so they keep growing back and providing us with mulch. Uh, and then we're gonna mark and measure and plant some mounds, add some compost, and plant some grafted trees. Awesome, let's do it. I might hit the bananas. Pull, 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 pull. bring that over and then while we're measuring we can figure out if we want to do anything else. We should bring one sack of that in the wheelbarrow. Again, mm -hmm. Yeah, so if you, you want to chuck that in the wheelbarrow for one strong person. Yeah. All right, what are we doing here, Lauren? Planting these. Planting these. <laughs> so we're planting these sapote trees. What? And they're going over there. So Jason's putting his fertilizer. Organic compost. Organic compost, really rich in nitrogen. <laughs> Gonna get in the hole ready for another sapote tree. All right, so Alex here is chopping up the soil. He's going like this deep into this top soil, removing all the roots. And now we're just like filtering through, taking out any roots that could possibly grow. And then we're gonna add in this organic compost, and we're gonna put a grafted paste mamma sapote here. So most most people would say that's the best variety of mamma sapote in the world. We can get fruits off of it most of the year. Especially if we get multiple varieties like Maganya and Pace. And yeah, it's a high calorie fruit. It's really tasty. It tastes like pumpkin pie. Oh. Beautiful. Oh, look at all those roots. Nice. Oh, sorry. Bottom, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's like it's a root porn. <laughs> yeah, when we first got these plants from uh, Lara Farms in Florida, which is a great nursery, by the way, they were a bit pot bound. And we put them in these air pruning pots that you see here, which have holes evenly spaced throughout the entire pot specifically at the corners and so that the root doesn't get stuck in the corner and loop around we got holes in the corners. So now after a couple months in the air pruning pot, actually it's been in the air pruning pot since November uh, 10th and now it's the beginning of April so um, you can see now it has a healthy root system that's extending far out from the tree. Uh, so the root actually recovered pretty well from being pot bound in the, these air pruning pots and now it's going to take much quicker in the area that we're planting. Whereas if we had just planted it pop round in the ground, it would have been stunted and we may not have gotten any new growth from it for a year. It may have just sat there doing nothing, regardless of fertilizer or other factors due to having an extremely stunted root system. But now it's better. Yeah. Hmm? 